Hi friends, I am Shailaja from Belgami, Karnataka. Being visually impaired, I am going to participate in the Golden Eye Chef Contest 2020. I have thought to make idli dosa and chutney sambar with the ingredients available at home. I have soaked 3 cups of rice and 1 cup of wood dal for 6, six hours and poha for 30 hours then I have grinded all separately and mixed with the hand and kept for fermentation for 10 to 12 hours. You must mix the dough with the hands so that it becomes light and is easily fermented. Next day I have added salt to the batter and poured in the idli stand and, and kept the idli stand in the boiling water. वाओ में है चंदा जाके पीछे चिपटा रात इन पहाड़ों के चमकता जुगलू जैसे तारे लाग इन फिजाओं में लपक के बांधा मैंने फीता छाप छोड़े चला मुझे किस किस ने क्या क्या कहा भटकता If you find the batter thick, add some water and adjust. I had soaked the rice and the uh, rice and other dal at night, so I am making the idlis and dosa the next day. Now I am uh, cutting the uh, uh, coconut, coriander leaves, green chilli, ginger, garlic for chutney and tomatoes for sambar. Keep one cup of tur dal with tomatoes and some turmeric powder to boil in a cooker. Then add water and keep the cooker for boiling. Also you can add some oil for the boiling of the dal. Here on the other side, I am pouring all the chutney ingredients that is coconut, ginger, garlic, and coriander leaves, chilli into the grinder and grinding.
salt and some sugar to the chutney when you are grinding then i am making the keeping the tadka pan and adding some oil mustard seeds and red chili as tadka for the chutney Here on the other side, I am opening the batter kept in the cooker that is warm place and going to mix some sweet. The batter has fermented. I am adding some salt to the batter. to add the salt according to the taste then i'm mixing the batter with the salt and kept some water to boil that is in a cooker pan to keep the idli stand and now i am pouring the idli batter into the idli stand Before you pour the batter, you have to grease the idli stand and then pour the batter so that you can remove the idli easily. On the other side, the tur dal has boiled. Now I have poured the batter into the idli stand. and put the idli stand now into the cooker where i have already kept the water for boiling then cover the cooker with the lid so that the idli get big now i am when the tadka for the chutney gets cooled i am pouring the grinded chutney to the pan thickness of the chutney you can adjust as you like you can add some water according to your taste kept a tadka pan for making sambar i have poured some oil into it i am going to add some jeera and mustard
third stage to the pan to fry a little. leaves and coconut powder fresh coconut powder to it to fry and some masala powder that we use at home i have added to the tarka pan to fry a little then open the cooker where we have kept the fruit dal and tomato to boil the masala and all the ingredients are fried then add the tur dal and tomato that is boiled to the tadka pan then add jaggery so that the idli gets cooled now i am have kept the tawa for dosa to heat i am adding oil or greasing the tawa with onion i am pouring the batter and spreading the dosa on the tawa layer of the dosa and close it then i am removing the idlis that have kept to cool down hence now my three ingredients are ready chutney sambar and idli Please help me. 
become very spongy. My idlis have become very soft and spongy. Here also my the dosa has been baked. Now I am flipping the dosa to the other side. also is ready now friends i am serving the dosa idli with chutney and sambar hello friends my dosa idli with sambar and chutney is ready to eat Hope you all like my video and please like my video. Thank you for watching my video. Good bye. Thank you friends.